द वे फॉर्वर्ड इज थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह अज असी एक ऐसे मुद्दे पर गल करे जो इस मुल्क वस्ते और साढ़े सारे वास्ते एक बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है वो इशू है गन बैलेंस का इस मुल्क ऑन डेली बेसिस तकरीबन सौ बंद गन बैलेंस का विक्टम हों हाल ही जो अलपैसो टैक्स होया जो डेटन ओहायो हो उस तो वाकिफ हो ये अगस्त का महीना चल रहा है और हाल ही तक यू एस टू हंड्रड फिफ्टी फाइव मैस शूटिंग हो चुकी हैं इस साल टू हंड्रड सैवनटी थ्री लोग मारे गए हैं एक हज़ार तो त्रेंट लोग जोड़े वो जख्मी होए यू एस की जी पॉपुलेशन है इन कंपेरिजन टू द वर्ल्ड वो चार परसेंट पॉपुलेशन है तो फिफ्टी परसेंट वर्ल्ड की जी हैंडगनज हैं वो इस कंट्री पाई जाती हैं ये एक बड़ा सीरीयस इशू है और कंट्री इस इशू के उपर कोई सोल्यूशन हाल तक लैके नहीं आ पाई है और उसकी बड़िया जेन्यून वजह वह है जी ये डिबेट है उसकी दोनों साइड से जेन्यून आर्ग्यूमेंट्स है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल आर्ग्यूमेंट्स है अज असी उन आर्ग्यूमेंट्स को समझा उन इशूज़ को समझा और उन इशूज़ को समझने लिए आमंत्रित किया है श्री अजय चेडा जी ने अजय जी थोड़ा बहुत बहुत स्वागत है शुक्रिया प्रजोत जी तुमने मुझे यहाँ बुलाया जी इसके लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अजय जी क्वींस डिस्ट्रिक्ट अटर्नी ऑफिस में एक सीनियर डिस्ट्रिक्ट अटर्नी हैं ओ सीनियर असिस्टेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट अटर्नी आई एम सॉरी ओ दो हज़ार अठ तो पर्टिकुलरली जे गन्स एंड नारकोटिक्स की फील्ड है उसू वेखते हैं अजय जी ये जो गन्स का इशू है ये एक बड़ा सीरीयस इशू है सानू ती थोड़ा दसोगे इस इशू के बारे में कि क्यों इस दे कोई जेडे सोल्यूशन हैं वो हाल तक ये मुल्क नहीं ढूंढ पाया तो हरजोत जी पहले तो मैं एक ये कहना मांगता हूँ कि मैं इधर आपने बुलाया और मैं काम तो करता हूँ असिस्टेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट अटर्नी जी जी जैसे क्वींस काउंटी में लेकिन मैं इधर मेरा पर्सनल ओपिनियन ले के लिए आता हूँ आया हूँ हाँ जी इसलिए ए, ए बहुत जरूरी है कि असं क्लीयर कर दिए कि अजय चेडा जी अज इत क्वींस डी ए ऑफिस टू रिप्रजेंट करने नहीं आए वो अपनी परसनल कपैसिटी इधर आए हैं और असी इस करके उन्होंने बुलाया क्योंकि उन्हों का बड़ा लंबा एक्सपीरियंस है इस इस फील्ड में गन्स के परटेनिंग और लॉ एंड ऑर्डर के परटेनिंग उन्हों की कोई भी जी स्टेटमेंट है वो उन्होंने ऑफिस के ओपीनियन रिप्रजेंट नहीं करती उन्होंने अपने परसनल ओपीनियन हैं इज एट राइट मिस्टर चेडा दैट्स राइट थैंक यू जी जस्ट मैंने यू नो सिर्फ ये साफ करना था कि पर्सनल ओपिनियन है जो भी बात करता हूँ um, और ये गन कंट्रोल जैसे आपने अभी कहा डेटन ओहायो um, में जी. और एलपैसो टेक्सस में भी जो ये शूटिंग हुई है um, न्यूज में जी प्रमुख आ रही है जी 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 uh, तो ये तो बात पहले ये समझना चाहिए कि ये यूएस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और उसकी भी पहले इंग्लिश सिविल लॉ में ये गन्स का सब राइट्स आया है और वो भी गन्स भी सिर्फ गन्स नहीं है आर्म्स कहते हैं तो वो समझना चाहिए पहला कि यूएस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जब सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट जो है उधर से बोथ साइड्स वो शब्द जो है यूँ तो है सिर्फ सत्याई शब्द लेकिन सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट में लेकिन वो सत्याई शब्द इतने गहरे हैं डीप हैं कि इसमें दोनों साइड्स एंड जनरली हम तो ये आमतौर गहरी बातें तो नहीं कर सकते जी लेकिन यूँ 
यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स में पचास टका एक साइड में है और पचास टका दूसरे साइड में जी, है जी, ये बहुत गन कंट्रोल और गन वायलेंस जो भी कहते हैं गन राइट्स भी कहते हैं um, एक बड़ा डिबेट होता है अजय जी किसी भी uh, आ, बात को फर्दर ले, ले जाने से पहले आप हमें ये बताएं कि व्हेन वी व्हेन वी से गन कंट्रोल और व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट गन वायलेंस आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल वायलेंस क्रिएटेड और कंडक्टेड बाय गन्स व्हिच माइट इंक्लूड हैंड गन्स ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ शिकागो इज इज आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द गन्स और आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ गन्स द असोल्ट वेपन्स और द सेमी ऑटोमेटिक राइफल्स यूज इन मैस शूटिंग्स सो व्हेन वी टॉकिंग गन कंट्रोल व्हाट आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट सो आई थिंक दैट्स पार्ट ऑफ ये सब डिबेट में एक साइड सब गन की बातें करते हैं दूसरी साइड में सॉल्ट वेपन की बातें करते हैं लेकिन कोई कंसेंसस नहीं है कोई डेफिनेशन नहीं है कि गन कंट्रोल का वजह उसका मतलब क्या है इज इट जस्ट हैंड गन्स या असोल्ट टाइप वेपन्स बोथ साइड्स लाइक टू डिफाइन देयर टर्म्स सो आई थिंक इट डिपेंड्स ऑन who you're speaking with which side you're speaking with kis ke sath aap baat kar rahe hain mm-hmm. unki personal opinion kya hai mm-hmm. wo uh you know that we have to talk about first i think we will have to talk about that here as well yeah. kyunki gun jaisa ye sabd gun hai ji uh wo likha nahi hai constitution mein mm-hmm. wo sabd jo likha hua hai and mm-hmm. and we should get into that uh mm-hmm. is the word arms mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. or arms may सब गन्स भी आते हैं मिलिट्री स्टाइल असोल्ट वेपन भी आते हैं चाका भी आते और नाइफ भी आते हैं सब यू नो हथियार जो भी है वो सब उसके अंदर आ सकते हैं जी जी सो जी सब तो पहली गल सू समझ की जरूरत है कि ये सैकेंड अमेंडमेंट कहती की है सू दसोगे कि कहती है सैकेंड अमेंडमेंट हाँ तो सैकेंड अमेंडमेंट इट इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट बहुत इम्पोर्टेंस आता है कि उनके जो सत्ताईस शब्द हैं जो मैंने कहा वो हम आई वॉन्ट से दैट आई वॉन्ट फर्स्ट से दो ट्वेंटी सेवन वर्ड्स एट्स देयर एंड दैट्स वाई रोड इट डाउन आई हैव इट ऑन पीस ऑफ पेपर बिक इट्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट सो द सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट सेज ए वेल रेगुलेटेड मलिशिया बींग नेसेसरी टू द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ ए फ्री स्टेट Mm-hmm. the right of the people to keep and bear arms mm-hmm. shall not be infringed sirf satyai sab da yahi hai um or iske upar se uh ye sab debate sab jo ab aaj aate hain court cases bhi jo aate hain uh iske uh शब्द में से फ्लो आते हैं कि प्रॉब्लम ये है कि इन सताइस वर्ड्स को डिफरेंट तरीके से इंटरप्रेट किया गया है और जो ये इंटरप्रिटेशन है दैट इज द डिबेट वॉट इज द इंटरप्रिटेशन करेक्ट और एंड दैट्स वेयर आई थिंक वी हैव द डाइकॉडमी इन द टू साइड सो सो कैन यू टेल समथिंग अबाउट द डिबेट so on the one side there is the debate that um of the debate um and and i don't want to use words like because i think saying it's democratic or republican mm-hmm. or progressive or conservative um it, it's i think that doesn't inform us so mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. uh with the debate G. like in um you know on the one side people want to feel safe mm-hmm. they uh you know we all आप के परिवार हम हमारे परिवार सबके परिवार यू नो वट दे वॉन्ट डू दे वॉन्ट फील सेफ इन द स्ट्रीट्स दे वॉन्ट टू फील दैट दे कैन गो टू वर्क एंड डू दीज थिंग्स सो गन्स ऑन द वन हैंड इफ जस्ट टुडे आई थिंक आई रेड इन द इन द पेपर्स अ बॉय वॉज किल्ड स्लीपिंग इन हिज हाउस इन हिज बेडरूम वेन समबडी केम बाय एंड स्प्रेड a round of bullets i think it was in missouri or michigan somewhere just from the outside they drove by and they sprayed 
um, and, and the boy was um, killed. Without knowing? Uh, Nobody knows right now what the cause was, mm -hmm. why they did it, but they just, car drove by, they sprayed that particular house. Mm -hmm. The mother was um, uh, hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, she got um, sprayed and I think uh, it went through the walls mm -hmm. and the boy was killed. So wow. even in your own home, if you can't feel safe, mm -hmm. that is a, uh, a big issue. So on the one side, there is this, um, we should limit guns, we should only have, uh, you know, we should definitely not give guns to people who can't handle them. Mm -hmm. um, on the other side of the debate is mm -hmm. this um, uh, view mm -hmm. that we need to have arms, we need to have f in the hands of private citizens so that government, sarkar, uske upar hame bharosa nahi hai, hame usko trust nahi kar sakte hain, to uske liye agar sarkar kuch hamare saamne kare, hamare khilaf kuch kare, to hamare paas hathiyar hain, unke khilaf kuch kar sakte hain. ऐसे ही तो ये देश पैदा हुआ था जब इंग्लैंड ने इधर के कॉलोनिस्ट जे जो थे उनको वो भी हथियार ले लेते थे और रेवोल्यूशन हुआ तो जो ये शब्द लिखे हुए हैं उन टाइम के शब्द हैं उनके लिए वो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट था असी आज जी तू समझ समझ रहे हैं कि ए सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट की है कि राइट्स ए देन दी है और इस इशू ते डिबेट की है असी ए गल जाली रखांगे एक छोटी जी ब्रेक दे बाद द वे फॉरवर्ड इस थोड़ा फिर तू स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह आज असी गल कर रहे हैं गन वायलेंस की और असी समझन दी कोशिश कर रहे सी कि ए जड़ी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट है वो कैंडी की है जी सैकेंड अमेंडमेंट है ये यू एस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की एक बड़ी यूनीक चीज़ है इन द सेंस कि एक सरकार जी है जी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन है वो खुद पावर दें अपने सिटीजनस न बंदूक रखने लिए आ कह के, के कि अगर सरकार कभी ओपरेसिव हो जाए टेरिनिकल हो जाए तो दे हैव ए राइट टू स्टैंड अगेंस्ट दैट वेरी गवर्नमेंट दैट गिव दैम दैट राइट आई थिंक दैट इज दैट इज समथिंग यूनीक it um it it is in some ways unique mm -hmm. uh, but it did start not at the american revolution it goes back even further than that in english civil law okay. even back to the magna carta okay in the 1000 so we're mm -hmm. talking about 700 years before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the american mm -hmm. revolution though uh you know there was a time in england where they would the the government mm -hmm. would take Back then, from uh, my understanding, it was a Catholic government and a mm -hmm. Protestant, and they would take away the arms from the Protestants. Okay. And then they would almost make them second-class citizens. Mm -hmm. So there was a movement where mm -hmm. the Protestants then, mm -hmm. when they came into power, said, government can't take away, parliament can't take away the right to bear arms for Protestant people. Very interesting. So so do you think that's relevant uh, even today? I think so. I think this is what informed the way the U.S. Constitution, the Second Amendment, mm -hmm. uh, reads. And we have to understand that when, uh, and I know you just said that the, the Sarkar has given these rights, mm -hmm. but really it's the Constitution lays out the rights that government has. Hmm. Right. It's hmm. it's more. I think there there's a view that it's the other way around that the people, mm -hmm. janta, mm -hmm. s, s, uh, came together mm -hmm. and said, "Ha, ye federal sarkar hai, mm -hmm. lekin 
उनके जो पावर्स हैं वो हम उनको देते हैं ये गल समझना बहुत जरूरी है ये अगेन एक थोड़ी यूनीक चीज़ है यू एस कॉन्सटीट्यूशन की जब ये कॉन्सटीट्यूशन बनाया गया असी पहला भी इस बारे गल की है ये क्या क्या कि जेडे कुछ राइट्स हैं वो कॉन्सटीट्यूशन नहीं दें कुछ इन एलिएनेबल राइट्स जोड़े यू हैव जस्ट बिकॉज यूर ह्यूमन बींग राइट और वो जोड़े राइट्स हैं वो थोड़े क्रिएटर तो आते हैं सरकार तो नहीं आते जी सैकेंड अमेंडमेंट है ये पार्ट है बिल ऑफ राइट्स का जो बिल ऑफ राइट्स है दैट वॉज समथिंग विच वॉज एडिड ट्वेंटी ईयरस आफ्टर द ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉज पैस्ट इज दैट राइट ये बीस साल बाद लेकिन जब ओरिजिनल यू एस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन था जी वो भी रेटिफाइड होना चाहिए था तब तो तेरह जो स्टेट्स थे जी 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 नौ स्टेट्स को रेटिफाई करना था तो वो भी अंडरस्टैंडिंग तब थी कि ये बिल ऑफ राइट्स आएंगे विदाउट दैट द रेटिफिकेशन वुड नॉट हैव हैपन क्योंकि तब भी बहुत सारे लोग थे स्टेट्स थे जो स्टेट्स राइट्स को मानते थे फेडरल गवर्नमेंट नहीं चाहता उनको तो जेम्स मैरिसन जिसने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वो फादर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के अलावा जो कहते हैं उसने भी कहा था कि वी विल हैव दीज बिल ऑफ राइट द फर्स्ट टेन अमेंडमेंट्स उसमें जो जनता सरकार को नहीं देती पावर वो उसमें इनमेट करेंगे वो लिखेंगे उसमें तो इसीलिए ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ने पास किया सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इसी द बिल ऑफ राइट्स एंड एंड the constitution uh, to certain extent is seen as a negative document yes. negative document in the sense ki these are the things that the government cannot do right correct Ji. if 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 we read the uh, language it says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed matlab sarkar koi aisa law nahi bana sakdi jo logan da jehda right hai oh right no call already hega to have those guns right. oh adda da koi right uh, law nahi bana sakdi which takes away that right Correct. this is the crux of the issue sari jehdi debate hai ki sar ए एक राइट है क्या सरकार ऐसे लॉज बना सकती है जो उस राइट नू इनफ्रिंज करे उस राइट नू उनकलू ले और इस दे जेडी डिबेट है उस दे विच दो इश्यूज हैं और वो जेडी इश्यूज हैं कि तुसी इस सेकंड अमेंडमेंट नू पढ़ देखी मेरो एक एंड वन एग्जांपल एक एग्जांपल एक आई कैन गिव यू these rights mm -hmm. as opposed to a privilege and and the example i can give you is if you drive in the us mm -hmm. any state any state right mm -hmm. one of the first things you will see mm -hmm. it's will say driving is a privilege mm -hmm. it is not a right mm -hmm. okay we all drive we have licenses most of us you know we go out and do that but driving is not a right mm -hmm. it's something that the government gives you mm -hmm. as a license to be have a mm. car on the via, you know and be able to do that and same with most other licenses mm -hmm. they're not rights they're privileges mm -hmm. this is a right is a right that can't be taken away and that's where i think these things two sides come mm -hmm. you have to see it as a right and not as a privilege yes or a a right ki hai so let, let's let's go into the thick of the debate uh there's one side which says that uh the second amendment is talking about having a militia in form of a army it's not a right of an individual it's right of the state to maintain an army and there's another thought which says that it is the right of an individual to bear arms right there have been uh, supreme court uh, judgments uh, to, to, to both facts right Ji. so uh, before 2008 asi asi gal karange unne 2008 or 2010 ne jo do important supreme court di decisions aayi hain jinhone is law nu ek navi shape diti expand kita is is right no is understanding no 
the controlling law was the Miller case in 1939. Is that right? Uh, I think there were some cases before that uh, mm -hmm. on the state level. Mm -hmm. um, I think there was one in Arkansas where they said that, and this is going back before the Civil War, before the 14th Amendment, Okay. Um, where, and, and this is, I, I think in some ways, a little important, and maybe we can explain it to definitely, our viewers. Definitely, yeah. You know, the initial 10 amendments, the Bill of Rights, mm -hmm. were really against the federal government. Mm -hmm. Joe, um, you know, federal government, Joe, U.S. government, Deska government, Sarkar Joe, mm. the rights that they cannot take from mm -hmm. the janta. The individual, yeah. The individual or the yeah. people. Mm -hmm. um, later on, the 14th, that had nothing to do with states, though. Mm -hmm. The states can do whatever they pleased at the time. They could have taken away rights. They could have taken away certain things mm -hmm. if they passed laws in the states. Mm -hmm. But then came the 14th Amendment, which the states, which basically said in general, mm -hmm. um, the 10 amendments apply to the states, the as, states well. as well. Mm -hmm. And this is due in part somewhat to the issue of slavery, the mm -hmm. issue of emancipation, mm -hmm. um, and, and the Civil War that mm -hmm. came after. So that came after that. Mm -hmm. um, so now, the Miller case, as you said, and the other cases, mm -hmm. uh, the Supreme Court now had this 14th Amendment to rely on. They didn't before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there were cases before where um, they applied, they said, well, the states can do what they want. The federal government can't infringe on the right, but the states can. Mm -hmm. And at that point, one of the points that you make is that it was for the militia. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the difference, I think, that also we sh uh, should explain about the militia, because mm -hmm. people sometimes, you know, um, it's, you know, an army that's woto foji wo army jo hote hai, professional soldier jo hote hai. Mm -hmm. Ye to militia jo hai, ye um, janta ki foji jo hum kehte hai. Mm -hmm. um, not really professional. Mm -hmm. And you know, we understand that because uh, during the American Revolution, most of the people, ye to sab kisan the, farmers, mm -hmm. you know, they were out there. Mm -hmm. um, they did their work, they mm -hmm. worked on the farm, and they had arms to defend against um, predators, animals, other people, mm -hmm. and to defend their home and their livelihood because there was no standing army. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case today. Mm -hmm. So we have to now talk about, you know, now that we have a standing army, what do those um, environment, the uh, type of context that the U.S. Constitution was founded under still apply today or not? Mm -hmm. See, I... I uh understand what the Miller uh, uh, case is saying in 1939 that uh, you know this is uh, for uh, a, a regulated militia which is something like an army so all those uh, guns those those rights uh, are, 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 are deemed to uh, be uh, you know creating an army how did that translate into an individual's right to carry a gun against a tyrannical uh, government. Where, where did that come from? Well, I think that, um, again, going back to the 1700s, mm -hmm. to, to this, um, you know, there are Supreme Court uh, justices mm -hmm. that are, we, we say they're strict constitutionalist mm -hmm. and then there are those that have a more liberal interpretation it goes back to what we were talking about before is how people how the justices interpret the, these words that are there these 27 words mm -hmm. um, and the strict constitutionalists read these words and they say back then mm -hmm. there was no professional army in fact there were some of the earlier presidents, mm -hmm. Jefferson himself, mm -hmm. said that the U.S. should not have a professional army. Mm -hmm. They had a navy and an army, but generally it should be more population um, with the farmers, with the agrarian culture. Mm -hmm. um, they should have the arms, they should have it, and when they deem it necessary, mm -hmm. maybe come together as a militia to come against a tyrannical government, which is what their um, uh, experience was mm -hmm. with 
England. <laughs> and so that's how they view it. And so I think some of the justices uh, consider that, and that's how <laughs> In, you know they are informed by what rulings they make. So, so, the, so the uh, law uh, that was laid down at Miller that stayed good for 70 years. How was it changed uh, with the Heller decision in 2008? So, in the uh, the Heller and then the uh, Chicago the McDonald decision, mm -hmm. uh, both in this one they finally the Supreme Court said in the initial one that uh, in the DC, the Heller decision with the DC, mm -hmm. um, we can't, um, it, it's not just the militia, it's the individual right, and then also with the McDonald, um, I'm sorry, with yeah, with the McDonald Chicago decision, mm -hmm. that the states mm -hmm. are this. Yeah. It's not only the federal government, it applies to states to and local states. governments as exactly. well. Exactly. असी एक छोटा जहाँ ब्रेक लांगे तो अनु मिल दिया एक छोटे जी ब्रेक के बाद। The way forward is थोड़ा फिर तो स्वागत है मैं थोड़ा होस्ट हरजोत सिंह। आज असी गल कर रहे हैं गन वायलेंस ते इश्यू ते और असी समझने की कोशिश कर रहे सी श्री अजय चेड़ा जी तो सेकंड अमेंडमेंट जेड़ा बेडरॉक हैगा इस राइट दा और इस � Mr. Cheda, I personally think too much uh, importance is given to the concept of uh, whether this right uh, belongs to uh, an individual or uh, it's used to uh, have an army. In either of those cases, there's a word we are missing which is well-regulated. So even जिथे ए राइट जेड़ा उसने वस्ती इतना रीड करिए कि भई ये इंडिविजुअल्स ए राइट दी गल कर रहे हैं एक एक मलिशिया है एक आर्मी दे राइट दी गल खाली नहीं कर रहे हैं उसे भी इट स्टिल हैज़ टू बी रेगुलेटेड ते रेगुलेशन दे अगेंस्ट जेड़ा आर्गुमेंट है उन अगर कोई कार अपा चलाते हैं उस जैसे लाइसेंस बनाते हैं वो किसी न किसी रजिस्टर्ड है कि ये गवर्नमेंट एजेंसी दिनाल बट ए जेडे आर्गुमेंट ए ए गल स्पोर्ट दे राइट्स वाले जेडे गल कर दें दे 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 से दैट इट शुड नॉट इवन बी रेगुलेटेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट कि वो गवर्नमेंट ने डेटाबेस बना लेता the uh, on the side where um, let's say we talk about gun rights mm -hmm. that side is what you're talking about mm -hmm. the people that um, and, and I don't use that in a, in a negative sense the people that you mm -hmm. know with the gun rights mm -hmm. um, it's what they believe is that if the government can track you mm -hmm. if you have a national database where you have some sort of database where they know you have two guns mm -hmm in your house, mm -hmm. then they can come and take those guns at some point, and maybe it could lead to, uh, you know, when you have registration, it, it becomes a difficult idea then, oh, we have, uh, you know, Ajay Chetta or Harjot Singh, mm -hmm. they all both have guns, mm -hmm. and they uh, are registered with us, uh, and now we're gonna take it I, away. I understand uh, that point, but my question is, what do they understand by well-regulated? So uh, I, I think they, you know, they, they, the viewpoint is that that regulation mm -hmm. is not a regulation from the government, mm -hmm. right? It's it's well regulated. Being again going back to the revolution, to the American Revolution, the militia were people that came from farmland and they came up mm -hmm. um, and they don't want the regulation of the government. Mm -hmm. and, and that's I think what informs them is that well regulated, the phrase mm -hmm. is not well regulated from Go the government side, it's just the people. Organized people. Organized people, exactly. Okay, okay. Uh, Ajiji, the, the, there's, uh, there's something, uh, uh, a debate that we have raised in this uh, show earlier also. People who argue that they need these guns to uh, fight an oppressive government. Would it be an argument 
that they should be allowed to keep F-16s and nuclear weapons because if they have to fight an RB as strong as the US Army, they, they can do it with semi-automatic guns and AK-47s and AR-15 rifles. They would need F-16s and these big war weapons. What do you say? <laughs> So uh, I think that um, in, in some of those cases, mm -hmm. you know, the term arms, as we've discussed, doesn't just include guns, it, it's all arms. Mm -hmm. um, and it will depend on how, um, you know, the decisions in both that we talked about in um, the DC case and the Chicago case were both 5-4. Mm -hmm. So clearly we again see the justices on the Supreme Court coming 50-50 almost, and mm -hmm. it's just the one vote that um, made it one side or the other. Mm -hmm. um, when we live in a denser society, as mm -hmm. we do in New York City or some of the larger cities in the world, mm -hmm. um, it becomes more of an issue whether about regulation. And nobody, I don't, I don't think even the Supreme Court, the justices, they've had, um, the retired justices have had mm -hmm. um, opinions out there or written opinion pieces where they have said that nobody's arguing um, sort of the point that you brought up, which is that we need nuclear weapons or F-16s. Nobody, you know, this is not what this text is about. This is about a text against the government, whether those, you know, the, the guns are the way. No, but uh, when they, they are talking about their ability to defend themselves against a, a U.S. government, they, they definitely need that ability to defend, right? Again, that would depend on the, um, you know, as we talk about strict constitutionalists against a more liberal interpretation of the Constitution, mm -hmm. um, the strict constitutionalists would say that that's not, we're not talking about nuclear weapons. They never had an idea or concept of mm -hmm. these sort of arms. So mm -hmm. I think that would be, um, you know, that would be outside the purview of the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. and, and regulations are, um, that's why it's a living document. That's why the Constitution is a living document. As you go forward, mm -hmm. um, it depends on what the um, will of the people is. Janta ka kya hukuma hai. But do all people uh, recognize the Constitution as a living document? Some people uh, treat it as a document given by uh, God, or uh, th this was one of the uh, objections they had to uh, 14th and 16th and all amendments, that it's not a living document. We should not uh, mess with it. Is that right? I think there are some people that have that, but I think over the years, even the ones that are the uh, justices that are strict constitutionalists mm -hmm. do recognize it as a living document, mm -hmm. that this is something that changes. That's why we have the amendments. This changes as society changes mm -hmm. and as technology changes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I was curious because uh, in, in one of the judgments, uh, Judge Kavanaugh, when he was sitting uh, in, in, in the appeals court in D.C., uh, he held that semi-automatic uh, rifles uh, were not the dangerous and unusual weapons uh, which were in a way prohibited under uh, Heller. Heller said that uh, you can, the government can prohibit such weapons. What he said was that these uh, semi-automatic uh, rifles are not those weapons. I don't know what weapons does, uh, was he thinking, uh, or does he think, or um, this wing of the Supreme Court thinks, are unusual and dangerous weapons which need to be prohibited. Well, it's hard to read anyone's mind and, mm -hmm. and look into that. Uh, but. I think one of the issues that we have mm -hmm. is the definitions. Mm -hmm. You know, what is a rifle? What is a, a shotgun? What is a pistol? Mm -hmm. What is semi-automatic? You know, uh, there are no, there's not a consensus on what even those words mean. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's an issue. It's an issue. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the, um, where they track firearms, the mm -hmm. word firearms in, mm -hmm the federal government sense. Mm -hmm. The firearm is really just the part of the gun that has a serial number stamped on it. So if you think about a pistol, a mm -hmm. pistol, if I'm gonna kind of demonstrate with my finger and thumb, mm -hmm. pistol has the trigger where mm -hmm. my finger is here, has the barrel, mm -hmm. and then you have the hammer back here. Mm -hmm. But the part of the trigger and only that bottom piece mm -hmm that has a serial number on it, is the only thing that's considered a firearm. The barrel, mm -hmm. the hammer, the actual handle, 
silencer or anything else mm -hmm. can be purchased without any um, without it being a firearm. Is that so? So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's difficult then to mm -hmm. come up with what exactly, and you know, when you say semi-automatic rifle, what does that mean? देखो ए सानू ए समझन दी जरूरत है कि ए जेडी डिबेट है ए सोखी नहीं है कई स्ट्रिक्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल कंस्ट्रक्शंस है गियां जो इस दे ऊपर लिमिटेशन पांदी हैं उस दे अलावा जेडे बंदे ब्रुकलिन जैसे शहर इच रहंदे हैं क्वींस जैसे शहर इच रहंदे हैं उना दी जेडी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है और जेडे कुछ रूरल एरियाज कुछ माउंटेनियस एरियाज जेडे फार फ्लंग एरियाज हैं जिथे दो दो मील तक कोई और पॉपुलेशन नहीं है उना दे जेडी नीड्स हैं एनिमल्स तो उनानु जेडा खतरा है और उना दी कई किस्म दिया नीड्स हैं मैं देख रहा सिगा फार्मिंग जेडी इंडस्ट्री है वो कहते हैं कि 1.3 बिलियन डॉलर्स दी साड़ी फार्मिंग तो जरा नुकसान है वो हॉग्स कर देंगे इन जेडे जंगली सूर होंडे और उन अनु मार ले जरा उन अस्ते एप्रोप्रिएट राइट गन है वो एक एआर 15 है वो एक छोटी गन देना वो नहीं कर सकते तो ये जेडी सारी इश्यूज हैं ऐसी उन अनु अगर वे करिए, so we understand why this debate is so difficult in this country. क्योंकि जब आपका पड़ोसी जो है, वो दस मील दूर है, तो आप का परिवार को कौन डिफेंड करेगा? जब पुलिस आएंगे, तो अर्धा आधा घंटे बाद, एक घंटे बाद, ऐसे रोल एरियाज जो हैं, बहुत सारे हम लोग जो सिटीज में हैं, अर्बन एरियाज में हैं, जिधर इधर न्यूयॉर्क सिटी में एक करोड़ जनता जो है, टेन मिलियन पीपल इस हियर इन न्यूयॉर्क सिटी Sometimes you don't have that idea of how lonely, कितना सुना है जब आपका पड़ोसी दो दस मील दूस closest neighbor is ten miles away. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it is a difficult issue, but still there have been attempts to you know provide solutions. Can you tell us something about those attempts that the government has tried from time to time? So some of it has been in registration, in, in, um, and I'll speak a little bit more about New York City. Mm -hmm. In New York City, there are, uh, you cannot have a handgun mm -hmm. um, without it being registered and you getting a permit through the New York City Police Department. Mm -hmm. So um, if you have a handgun, um, if you have a firearm, as they define it, mm -hmm. and you don't have a permit, तो वो गैर कानूनी है। अजय जी, I'll I'll just like to raise this issue here. Again, this is a problem that this, particularly in this area, the the difference in state laws, not having a national law, is a huge problem. What we saw recently in Gilroy, California, the person who used that weapon had bought that weapon legally in Nevada and used it in California, though California has very strict uh, gun laws. W what do we do about a situation like that? So I think this is why at this time, as we just discussed, you mm -hmm. have states that are entirely rural, mm -hmm. and then there are states that are more urban, urban have yeah. larger urban cities. Mm -hmm. um, if we have a single federal law or mm -hmm. something on the federal level, mm -hmm. it, would be, it might be difficult. Mm -hmm. It might be difficult to say one law fits all the states mm -hmm. where you have to have a national registration or a national database. Mm -hmm. Then what happens at that point? Mm -hmm. It's possible, you, you know, maybe that should be one of the way forward to, to do it that way. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, we still have states' rights, and states are not keen on giving up those rights mm -hmm. to, because uh, New York, California, some of these states have stricter gun laws mm -hmm. than states like Alaska, mm -hmm. Texas, where the culture is different. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a state like Texas would not want mm -hmm. uh, a federal law um, or a law like New York. And in a federal structure, their culture has to be respected just as much. Right. Asi gal karde rangge, ik chote ji break to baad. The way forward is thoda fir tu swagat hai, mein thoda host Harjot Singh. 
अजय जी असी देखिए फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम सरकार ने कोशिश की है इस इशू में टैकल कर विसोट नाइनटी फोर में प्रेजिडेंट क्लिंटन ने असोल्ट बैन राइफल बैन लिया जो टू थाउजेंड फोर में एक्सपायर हो गया उस दे अलावा टू थाउजेंड थ्री में ब्रेडी गन लॉज आए फॉर सम रीज़न ये चैलेंज हले भी बनया हुआ है और एक नवा जो चैलेंज सामने आ रहा है विच वी डोंट नो हाउ टू टैकल दैट इज द चैलेंज पोज बाय थ्री डी गन्स राइट दैट्स राइट देर इज नाउ टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल वेर यू कैन प्रिंट एज अ प्लास्टिक एज आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग बिफोर The firearm, what's considered a firearm, is really just the trigger uh, part of the mechanism and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the rest of it, you can buy. Now you can print it. Mm -hmm. As 3D printers become cheaper mm -hmm. and more available, mm -hmm. um, just as those prices will go down, mm -hmm. uh, more and more people will have the ability mm -hmm. to print their gun at uh, their in their home, in at their home. office, at home. And that's going to be the challenge. ये एक बड़ा भारी नवा चैलेंज लॉ इनफोर्समेंट वास्ते सोसाइटीज वास्ते सामने आ रहा है ये जो थ्री डी प्रिंटर्स होंगे साढ़े व्यूअर्स आई डों नो इफ इस कॉन्सैप्ट वाकफ हैं पहले तुम प्रिंटर्स से जिमें आप कागज प्रिंट करते हूँ थ्री डी प्रिंटर्स ऐसी चीज़ आ रही है जे थ्री डायमेंशन में जो चीज़ हैगी है हाँ जिस दी गन्स भी हैं अगर थोड़े को इदा के प्रिंटर्स हैं तो तुम घर में बैठे वो चीज़ प्रिंट कर सकते हो तो वो जोड़े प्रोडक्ट तुम खुद प्रिंट करके बनाते हो ऑफकोर्स वो सरकार की नज़र तो होर भी परे है उन्होंने रेगुलेट करना होर मुश्किल है क्योंकि अभी जो भी आप खरीदते हैं जो हैंड गन्स हैं उनके ऊपर सीरियल नंबर तो है तो वो सीरियल नंबर के साथ आप ट्रेस कर सकते हैं किसने आपको ये सेल किया किधर से आए कभी मैन्युफैक्चर किया कौन सा डेट में मैन्युफैक्चर किया लेकिन जब 3D डी गन प्रिंटिंग आते हैं उसके ऊपर सीरियल नंबर तो नहीं है और कोई भी अपने घर में वो प्रिंट कर सकते हैं और a uh, big problem is also with metal detectors mm -hmm. kyunki kyunki ye uh, plastic guns hain mm -hmm. aur ye plastic guns metal detector mein nahi uh, dekh payenge mm -hmm. to airport security mm -hmm. um, stadium security mm -hmm. school security jo mm -hmm. hum dekhte hain ye mass shooting mm -hmm. ye sab uh, problems to so, aayenge aur we even have to tackle it so is the government uh, able to prevent people from having these printers at home So we have legitimate reasons to have 3D printing, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know that they're going to be able to do that. So that's going to be a problem, and we're going to have to tackle that going forward. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the solution for that is mm -hmm. going to be. Mm -hmm. um, one of the thing voluntarily right now has happened, and in mm -hmm. the last year, mm -hmm. the cases that came forward mm -hmm. allowed. schematics mm -hmm. of a gun how to print it mm -hmm. on a 3D printer available online on the internet mm. and they were voluntarily held back the mm. people who wanted to publish these schematics said okay we see a problem here mm -hmm. we're not going to publish it mm -hmm. but that may not be the case because online is worldwide it's not just in the us so how do you prevent that and, and they're not just responsible people out there right exactly a ek hor challenge sade vaste aan wale din ch aan wala hai assi ajay ji nal ajj gal kiti gun balance di second amendment nu samajhan di koshish kiti hun assi vekhiye ki saadi apni community da ki व्यू है इस इशू का असी गल करेंगे अपने पोलिटिकल कोरस्पोंडेंट श्री जैग राजपाल जी जैग जी तो बहुत बहुत स्वागत है जैग जी सू दसोगे साड़ी कम्युनिटी विच इस गन इशू नखे जाता है क्योंकि साडा 
ਅਸਤਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਿਰਪਾਨ ਰੱਖਣ ਦੀ ਆਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਅਸ ਕਿਰਪਾਨ ਖੰਡੋ ਖੜਕ ਤੁਪਕ ਤਬਰ ਅਰਤੀਰ ਸਹਿਬ ਸਰੋਹੀ ਸੈਤੀ ਇਹ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਪੀਰ ਤੇ ਗੰਜ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਲਚਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਵੇਖਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀ ਡਿਬੇਟ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸੋਗੇ ਇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਕੁਝ ਸਰ ਜੋ ਤੇ ਆ ਮੀਨ ਆ ਮੀਨ ਦਾ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਹੈਸ ਟੂ ਵਾਈਡ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਰੇਂਜ ਆਫ ਓਪੀਨੀਅਨਸ ਔਨ ਔਨ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਅਮੈਂਡਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਗਨ ਐਕਟਿਵਿਸਟਸ ਯੂ نو ਦੇ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗਲੀ ਪੈਸ਼ਨੇਟ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਲਾਰਜਰ ਸਰਕਲ ਆਫ ਫਰੈਂਡਸ ਐਂਡ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਸ ਹੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ نو ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਥਿਸ the amendment and the right to bear arms mm-hmm. should be on it and i think there's some legitimate reasons behind it mm-hmm. on the other side you know there's a lot of disagreements and uh, grievances on the other side of the aisle mm-hmm. where people when they see these mass shootings think that you know something should be done after you know mm-hmm. what uh, you know kind of um, emerges as a pattern is that what impacts most of the people on both sides of a community is not these individual deaths that happen from guns uh it's the uh, mass shootings that happen every now and then mm-hmm. lately we have had more mass shootings happening in the last 10 years or so i would so uh so that's the kind of uh, incident that impacts the community more mm-hmm. than the overall homicides that are committed by gun guns you know if you look at overall us uh you know we have close to 38000 deaths that are happen every year on an average by gun mm-hmm. you know one third of that that is by this is homicide mm-hmm. so if you look at that faction of incidents that happen because of gun you know a lot of a large majority of them is because of uh, crime and other related issues as well mm-hmm. but there is a segment which is associated with mass shootings or mass killing mm-hmm. I think ਉਥੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਤੇ this community has some resonance mm-hmm. and there is some kind of a common uh, common cause common sentiments jehde ikatthe aande hain ji um and which is where the problem should be framed as mm-hmm. i i believe uh, what we understand ajay ji is that uh, the debate uh, or the frustration or the division is just as much uh, in this community as in uh, <laughs> anyone else but uh, ajay ji uh, we we really believe that uh, to find a solution for the problems that we are seeing with mass shootings and uh, those guns a distinction will have to be drawn uh, between uh, you know, issues of mass shooting and issues of uh, crime issues of handguns because jada pa gal karde ha mental health de issues le ande ha assi kai aise issues di gal karde ha jo which are good for one uh, debate not for both not across or o jehda dar ik logan de vich i don't know uh, paya janda hai aur o feel karde that they are coming after all your guns which uh, they might be using for genuinely using for their self defense shotguns uh, handguns or ek ek dar ja ona de man vich ki sarkar aake sare banduka le jayegi ya agar apa vaddi guns di gal karde hai assault rifles di and asi us de vich background check di gal kariye then i think utthe log zyada comfortable honge and zyada cooperate karange sarkar de naal us cheez nu follow up karne ch i think they and people do i think people do and and this is where the difficulty lies and and i think the community you know as uh uh jug g has has outlined um if you have for instance i think the um I, they just today had an article that the Dayton sh- shooter mm-hmm. had a friend mm-hmm. who got the gun the bullets and the ammunition for him by lying on the federal form so now mm-hmm. how do how does a government how do we who are legally getting mm-hmm. guns um overcome that there's nothing that i don't think as a society mm-hmm. we may be able to do mm-hmm. to prevent somebody from lying on forms mm-hmm. to prevent somebody from getting uh guns illegally mm-hmm. you know most of the and and i think we discussed this a little bit not during this it's difficult to say what is a mass shooting mm-hmm. first we have to define what a mass shooting is mm-hmm. um 
you know, my feeling is they are shootings that are, you know, in the media where there's a large crowd mm -hmm. and it's now reported in the media mm -hmm. that some lone person or mm -hmm. maybe one or more people have come into a large gathering mm -hmm. where the community comes together. Yeah. And there's a disagreement on the numbers, four, five, exactly. more. Mm -hmm. um, but, but leaving that aside, mm -hmm. the guns that were generally um, gotten mm -hmm. in a number of these uh, mass shootings we've heard about in the media mm -hmm. were legally procured, as you just said. The, mm -hmm. I think the, the one person got it in Nevada and then went to California for the shooting, mm -hmm. uh, as we, I think, just read. Uh, as I said, in today's paper, they said that this person lied on a federal form mm -hmm. about um, his background mm -hmm. and then was able to get the ammunition um, and some of the accessories mm -hmm. for the Dayton shooter. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very complex issue. Jack Ji, Asi uh, Democratic Party, the uh, primary, the Pali, two debates, they can, Uzde, which gun control, koi inna vada uh, issue, Uber ke nahi aya. Do you think after uh, Dayton, Ohio, and El Paso, Texas, this is going to be a pretty mainstream issue going further? Going forward, you know, uh, uh, Joe. You know, yes. Uh, you know, so far, most of the candidates, until the recent two incidents that happened, mm -hmm. you know, they were pretty much generally uh, favoring uh, you know, universal background check, mm -hmm. ban on assault weapons, mm -hmm. uh, high capacity magazines. You know, there were two or three topics where there was a general consensus across all the Democratic uh, candidates. Now mm -hmm. we'll see as and when uh, if they take a different posture going ahead based on these two incidents happen. Elizabeth Warren, you know, she is the first one who came out with a slightly more expanded strategy mm -hmm. after these incidents where she said, beyond those uh, three, uh, three topics that I mentioned, she is proposing a plan for creating a federal licensing system, mm -hmm. uh, limiting the number of firearms somebody could buy, mm -hmm. uh, raising the minimum age uh, to 31 for purchasing a gun, and uh, kind of increasing the uh, liability of per se on more on uh, gun manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Um, one other also uh, pet topic which she has added to her is adding or raising taxes on gun manufacturers. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, she's the first one who came with a larger posture on an expanded gun legislation based on these two incidents. We'll, try, we'll see what other candidates have to say. Mm -hmm. I think Joe Biden also has, has uh, made calls to renew uh, the assault uh, uh, rifle ban, the 1994 I, ban? Um, I think he has, and I've also heard even today, I think there was some back and forth between Ms. Harris mm -hmm. and the NRA tweeting, you know, she, after the, the shootings, mm -hmm. she tweeted about, um, I think, the uh, universal background check and mm -hmm. getting some things through, even if Congress wasn't going to act, she would do it through an executive order, I believe, is mm -hmm. what she said, and then the R NRA, you know, came back and kind of said that that was silly mm -hmm. on her part. So, they, I think the candidates are getting into it. Yeah, and, uh, I think uh, 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 the, the president has uh, has talked about uh, taking some steps as well. Correct. I think the bump stocks uh, were banned last year, though there's a challenge to a legal challenge to that as well. I don't know where does that stand right now. Uh, he's talked about raising the age uh, to 21 from 18. And there is something called uh, the intelligent uh, uh, check on the guns where only the owner of a particular gun would be able to uh, use uh, that. Can you, can you tell us something about that? So I think that's one of the uh, debates that's going on is that you have I think you've, you've seen it in maybe James Bond movies mm -hmm. where only James Bond can fire the weapon that he has mm -hmm. because it recognizes his palm or thumbprint or fingerprints mm -hmm. on the gun mm -hmm. and is electronically mm -hmm. uh, made safe. Mm -hmm. However, um, there's opposition to that as well. So what if, let's say you are a husband and wife, somebody breaks in, mm -hmm. only the husband can use the gun, but he's dead. Mm -hmm. Now what do you do if you're the wife? You can't use the gun to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. So there is, again, 
both sides have their um, debate points. It's a very complex issue, but it's an issue that needs to be addressed. Right. It needs some solutions because dunya which kidre bhi any mass shootings, any gun violence nahi hai jithe jinni ki is mulk which hai. We we have to see. We have to find solutions. Uh, a, a country, a, uh, uh, I don't uh, mean progressive in terms of a political view, but I uh, mean progressive in terms of finding solutions Gee. and improving the state of the republic uh, with every single day, with uh, on every single issue. Jack ji, Sarna Gal karanda, thoda bhot bhot shukriya, and Ajay ji, we thank you for coming here today and uh, thank you for educating us on this very important issue thank you very much toda the way forward dekhan layi bahut bahut shukriya tonu agle hafte apa fir milange tusi vekh de the way forward